2017 is going to be my last year as the head coach of the University of San Diego. I'll have put in 39 seasons. Everybody says, well, why not go to 40? Because I don't want to go to 40. You, you just know it, you feel it, and, and uh, you know, in fairness, you know, the, the program will probably need more energy and, and, uh, and uh, I think uh, with Coach Quinn coming aboard, uh, you know, the transition is going to be seamless and it's just a perfect opportunity for, for him and for me to hand off the torch. I look forward to the challenge, I look forward to doing things my own way, but I know I'm going to have a great mentor on the sidelines and Seamus to help me along the way. Well, it's just that you don't handpick somebody, you know, he, he's been my assistant and, uh, you know, he's been with me 11 years, he's an outstanding coach and, and uh, he really picked himself. <laughs> it's just like I don't pick the players on the field to play, they pick themselves. It's the same applies to coaches, you know, he's uh, d deserving and more than amply qualified to do, take over. I think I have to write my own music um, going forward. Seamus has um, conducted the program the way he has felt fit and it's up to me to take all the best stuff that he has to offer, add to it and make this program a continuance of what Seamus has um, put in place. Uh, you know, obviously we've been to the, the national final in 92, we've been to four final 16s, we got to the Elite Eight. We've had a good run, so pretty excited about the, the legacy we've left behind. You have to look at the impact that Seamus had in regard to generations. I think the, the best way for me to describe it is we now are, we've had kids of players that Seamus coached, like Christian Duke for example, we're recruiting another couple of kids where the dads played for Seamus and I think that's the biggest impact where you look back where people feel comfortable coming to this school that they'll send their own children here. That's been great, I just didn't want any uh, third generation kids to come in because then it would have been it would have been difficult to do but no that's been really amazing run for me you know uh, you know first of all that they would bring their kids to, to, to come and and so that's always a nice testimonial to how you operate and so that's been really exciting so I'm pleased with that I think when you look what Seamus has built it starts off from the beginning when there was no team no scholarships and you have to start from scratch and I think from the days back in the late 70s early 80s when Seamus was established in the group at USD I think it's important to remember um, the foundation that he laid back then is uh, the genesis of what a great program we have now. Well, highlights, you know, we've beaten the number one team in the nation a couple of times. Uh, Portland, you know, I think comes to mind. Uh, they were the number one team in the nation. We were playing them for the conference championship. We had to win 2 nothing, and we beat them 3 nothing at home. So that was a pretty, pretty amazing win for us. I have seen phenomenal growth over the years, I mean, and, and I love the University of San Diego. The minute I set my eyes on it, I knew that this is where I wanted to be. It's not often that you get to be in a place, uh, a, a one-stop destination for 39 years, God willing, if I get this last year in and the health is good, but, you know, who could dream of a better scenario than that? It's just amazing. There's a lot of reasons personally that working at the University of San Diego has been great for me over the last 10 years. Um, I think as a Catholic and being part of this university is a little bit special in many, many ways. Uh, I look at, you know, the values. You look at, you know, growing up in Ireland where a big part of my life was being a Catholic but with having social justice as an important part of growing up in Belfast and I think that continues to this day. Well, the next few years will be, will be great. I, I think um, I'm appreciative to, to Dr. Harris and uh, to Kai Schneider. They've given me a great opportunity here. Uh, I get to coach the full calendar year next year and, uh, and then uh, phase, uh, phase out over a three-year period, which is just perfect. I think it'll be a little bit different. I think it'll, it'll be easier for me than it will be for Seamus because he's been the head guy for so long and now it's up to me to make the ultimate decisions in regards to you know the recruiting, the team on the field and then do all the little stuff that he has done for many many years and now it'll be left up to me to make those major decisions.
No, we get on well together. We're good buddies, and, and uh, I think we think alike when it comes to coaching, so there'll be no problem. I mean, I, I've, I've, I've asked these questions to myself a million times, so I'm pretty comfortable. I've been, I've been traveling this road for three years, and so it's not something that had just jumped out. And uh, it's been a three-year process, and I'm just kind of, you know, we're just announcing it today.